What are you doing up so early? You stopped taking your meds? Jamie. Casey shouldn't have told you. No, you should have told me. It's between me and my doctor. You're putting your life at risk. I've lived with lupus for years, so please don't question my decision. I didn't think that I needed to. I didn't think that you would be so reckless. See, this is why I didn't tell you. Because you have no idea what you're talking about. You barely heard of lupus before you met me. Now you're questioning decisions I made with my doctor? No. I've had people tell me how to manage my health for as long as I can remember. And if I let other people's fears of what might happen dictate how I live my life, I had never left home or met you. Jamie, I No, Ash, I don't need another Casey in my life telling me to be afraid of living. What is that supposed to mean? It means you don't get a say in this. Little help? Oh. Yeah, oh. sure. <laughs> Where's Jamie? Um, she'll be here in a second, but before that, I wanted to say that I heard what you said today. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. But... This isn't easy for me, so just listen. I don't agree with Jamie's decision. And I'll never stop worrying about my sister. But I'm glad to know Jamie's got people who support her through the good and the bad. And you proved to be more than expected. Thanks. Uh, why did you bring your suitcase? It's not mine. Hey, babe. So, after some careful consideration, I've decided that living together is actually a pretty great idea. But I don't want to take you from your village and we need to save money, which is why I accepted Jordan and Spencer's offer for us to stay here and keep living with them for a while. If that is still what you want. Is it? Yes. Yes? yes. That's absolutely yes. <laughs>